Now, because a lot of these studied or studies cover things like balance and works with athletes and sports specific movements, um, I wasn't originally planning on addressing balance, but because it was mentioned so much in the literature, I thought it'd be worth touching on briefly. So there's this idea that if you train on an unstable surface, it will promote strength in the muscles of your trunk, which is more conventionally called core, but that terminology is, is incorrect, and it'll improve balance. Uh, it's true in the sense that your trunk muscles will flex with up to 30% maximal volitional contractile force during limb movement. So if you're moving your arms and your legs, muscles of your trunk have to flex to maintain stability and posturing. But sorry, here are the four references for that. My question is, is 30% of the maximum amount of force that you're capable of volitionally contracting, is that enough to improve the functional strength of those muscles? Yeah, I don't know. That actually, that sounds relatively weak. Um, I'll give the source for the next two quotes in a bit, but the correlations between performances on different balance tasks were extremely low on significance. And uh, the same study also found that there's no general phenomena called balance. They found that you can be really good at conditioning balancing in some ways, um, but that doesn't carry over to balancing in other ways. That's from Jawaski and Zuccato, Interrelationships Between Selective Measures of Static and Dynamic Balance. Uh, training on unstable surfaces reduces safety and also reduces force production. So you see this a lot in athletics where, and you see this a lot with personal trainers too, that are working with a variety of populations. And they say that people need to do these movements on bozu balls or uneven surfaces or balancing on one foot so that they can work their stabilizer muscles um, and improve their balance. Well, First of all, there's, there's no such thing as a stabilizer muscle. Stabilization is a task that a muscle can perform. A muscle's purpose is to produce force, and that force can be used to either permit movement or to prohibit movement. Um, but there is no stabilizer muscle. So if you're doing a bicep curl, and I'll get to this example in a bit because I talk about bicep curls, Muscles of your hamstrings, your glutes, your lumbar extensors, and some of the muscles in the back will contract with a relatively light degree of effort to maintain torso stability as you're curling your biceps. If they didn't, you would fall forward because the weight in front of you alters your center of gravity and you have to take action in spite of that to stand upright so you can perform this exercise. Does that mean that your glutes, your hamstrings, and your lumbar extensors are stabilizer muscles? No, it's a role that they are performing in that moment by generating a small amount of force to counterbalance the weight that's being held in the moment arm. So when you see personal trainers, when you see athletic trainers having their athletes train on these things to improve balance, if you're doing an exercise balancing on one foot on a bozu ball, that's only going to improve your balance on that one precise skill. Again, Drowatsky and Zuccato found that there is no general phenomena called balance. 